Yeah. Can you identify these needles? The first needle on your left hand side is liver bias needle by name Wim Silverman needle. As you can see, it is long needle, the stillet, and separately there is a by feet cutting needle as well. So second one is what is called as Mankini needle. It is a four pieced specimen with a guard. It can be easily diagnosed. And the last one is a liver biopsy gun. This gun can also be used for kidney biopsy and any other biopsy. So these are three types of needles used for liver biopsy. The first one, Wim Silver Manual, was the first one to be used because of the side effects and complications. Subsequently, Mankin needle came into vogue. And now we have got the guns, which is a bit more expensive. What are the common indications for doing a liver biopsy? There may be many indications, but for me the common things, whenever you have persistent elevation of liver enzymes of unknown reason, and when you anyway suspect chronic hepatitis, whenever there is a jaundice of unknown reason, whenever you find there is an abnormal imaging report which cannot be explained, or significant hepatomegaly of unknown cause in the diagnosis of autoimmune hepatitis to diagnose neoplasias either primary or secondary in the liver sometimes in the diagnosis of PUO you may do liver biopsy and you may find the granuloma sometimes the caseation when you think it is tuberculous granulomatous hepatitis or it can be some other non caseating type of granulomas Hemochromatosis, trypanosomiasis are other two indications and in the follow-up of patients with lymphoma or malignancy to stage, sometimes you may do liver biopsy. Also, we may do liver biopsy in case of primary biliary cirrhosis or liver disease of any autoimmune etiology. What are the different types of biopsy? Commonly, we do a transcutaneous or percutaneous biopsy using the three needles you shown. If there are contraindications for doing percutaneous biopsy because of bleeding risks or prolonged prothrombin time, then you go through the jugular vein and pass through the inferior recovery and hepatic vein and you can cut a piece of liver and take it for transvenous biopsy and rarely you take laparoscopic biopsy or even during a laparotomy you may do a biopsy what preparations do you require before you do the liver biopsy obviously you need the consent and the bleeding has to be checked very well platelet count from prothrombin time aptt are very important we have to check the drug chart of the patient if inadvertently Patients on antiplatelet, newer oral anticoagulant or warfarin, you may get into trouble. What are the contraindications for liver biopsy? The relative contraindications and non relative contraindications, absolute and relative contraindications. Absolute contraindication will be a non cooperative patient who will not lie still. For doing this procedure, you have to keep the patient still. If he moves, it may bleed. If there is significant coagulation or bleeding disease, better not to test the patient. And if the patient has NSAIDs in the last 10 days, we don't commonly do. If you know there is hemangioma on ultrasound, muscular for valve perforation, or hydratid cyst, liver biopsy will not be done. Extrahepatic biliary cholestasis, if you do, you may end up with a biliary peritonitis. So don't do it. No, if you percuss the liver dullness, if there is no percussible liver, it will be risky to do the liver biopsy. And patients who say that if any complication come, don't transfuse blood to me. So we cannot take up those patients because the patient bleeds, we may require blood products or blood, whole blood to be transfused. There are relative contraindications. If the patient is morbidly obese, the needle may not reach the liver tissue proper. 
so that we were related to contraindication the liver is floating in ascites then again it becomes difficult so it will tap the fluid make it dry and then proceed and if there is hemophilia we have to correct it and proceed if there is a infection of the right pleura like empyema then better not to do that area or if there is a infection below diaphragm sub diaphragm and abscess like thing please don't do it amyloidosis situation where amyloid is deposited in the vessel wall so inadvertently you puncture a vessel it may bleed and can create problems the common complications are <coughs> bleeding even leading to death the cut liver biopsy needle wim silver man is a cutting type of needle where you are cutting the liver tissue or taking out when the patient is holding the breath if the patient breathes at that time it may produce a tear so the mortality of the wim silver man needle is 1% so that's why it was abandoned and we went to the second type of needle namely manganese needle and manganese needle is a suction type of uh, biopsy where you suck out with a negative pressure and take out so it's relatively better in the sense that there's no cutting of the needle but by suction you are taking out a piece of tissue the last one is the gun which produces least amount of bleeding and after doing the procedure you make the patient lie on the side that is on the right side of the patient so that there will be like a pressure bandage effect and at least four hours you have to monitor the patient continuously uh, techniques first needle wim silver man as you can see bifid needle is a cutting needle you insert the first part of the needle and once it is in the liver you take out a stillet and introduce the bifid needle and then you twist it cut it and then the outer sheath can go inside whole needle can come out and in between the two bifid needles blades you will have the tissue in this process when you pass the needle and you will cut the patient has to be stand still without breathing otherwise it produces severe laceration of the liver second one is you insert the needle with a negative pressure a filled syringe saline filled syringe and then you insert it and then suck it and take it out a piece of liver tissue with the inside the needle third one is as a patient not to breathe within a few seconds will cut and bring out a good piece of tissue so the three types of needles and one specimen of liver biopsy represents 1 million of the liver tissue that's all so the biopsy has one limitation it will be having only one piece 1 by million of liver that's what you are studying.